Hello, hello guys. Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. We, we come to the idea to just post almost every Monday like a video where we just talk about Jesus. Some so topics. um it's yeah some topics there's always gonna be like some different topics for example today we're talking about like suffering and just suffer in general and um yeah so it's gonna be episodes and um the episodes always gonna call it like jesus talk of course uh, on this channel we're also gonna do like our normal stuff i would say like also like vlogs, vlogs and makeup tutorials and everything like this we want to be more consistent with youtube and um especially if you like talking about jesus is like a good way for us especially so um yeah. we're just kind of coming up to just post every monday on here or we're trying we're to do trying to, yeah. every monday um an episode on jesus talk so um yeah i will hope you enjoy that video so let's get started let's get started so today we're going to talk about um, the topic suffer, like suffering and pain and stuff. Um, it's a huge topic where we're just trying to like not make it that long. I could actually talk a lot about this topic, but yeah. I imagine myself because for a couple of days I found myself not feeling well. And then I was like, um, Sophie also saw me crying and I was just very down. And then I came home very, very late and um, I was finding myself like in my room with my pain and suffer like alone and that truly like reminded me that no matter how long your day is no matter how long your pain will be in the end of the day you're gonna sit in your bed alone and there's always gonna be jesus like therefore in the end of the day you're coming back home you know that jesus is there you know that he's the only one that you can truly rely on and can truly trust so that truly reminded me that I could come home and be so in pain, I could, like no matter if it's physically or mentally, still knowing that there's someone who truly cares for you, like when you come home and it's just so, I don't know, gives me just hope mm -hmm. that I will work more, you know, so that just, I don't know, I just thought about this when I think about suffering. Yeah, I feel like also sometimes um, I'd be so like, wow, like finally I can talk to Jesus. Like finally I can pray, finally I can tell him everything that is bothering me or like very heavy on my heart. So I feel like that is also like so beautiful thinking like he's just a friend, like just yeah. the best friend to us. Um, yeah. When we think about suffer, I feel like it's very hard when I think like of an atheist or people who just doesn't believe of any God it's so heavy i mean they don't have any hope like they suffer and they sit in that they sit in that suffer they sit in that pain because they don't have any hope if they don't believe in anything and anything bigger than them so i always feel like how can they literally yeah. get over things if they don't believe in a higher power and i just find it i don't know crazy of course we had a life before christ before yeah. we gave our life to christ and i feel like um the pain that i had um like two years ago um when i didn't work with god the pain was so so much heavier and so deeper and at some point i didn't know what to do i didn't know how to get off this pain i didn't know how um to get myself up again and now that i have jesus yeah. i know that i can talk to him i know that there is something um and i know that he's yeah. there so since i'm working with god the pain is like was never that deep i never cried that deep again yeah um, before but i also think um before we found jesus we kind of like i hyped her up when she was feeling down with like the things okay just so we you know always remember of what you're excited for you know like for example my birthday is coming up on monday it's not but if so then just think of this you know and this always when we didn't have jesus in our life this kind of hyped us up but truly Jesus is someone who can truly you rely on. I also want to talk about um, kind of like the vision because I was thinking about this so much. I feel like when you suffer, you can imagine yourself in a tunnel, like you, you are in a tunnel and you know that it's dark. But we also know for sure, as Jesus promised, that in that tunnel, in the end of the tunnel, there's always going to be a light. Even if it's dark and we don't know how long this tunnel will go. Jesus we don't, is the light. Yeah, of course. We don't know um, how long this tunnel will be, right? If we focus and if we truly don't 
look back or forth if we just move forward and focus on Jesus on that light that we surely know will come no matter how long you will sit in that pain there are three options I feel like in a tunnel that you can do you can just either stay there where you are you can go back or you can go forth so if you stay there where you are it's like you're gonna sit in your pain and then I feel like also in that situation it's very hard when you kind of like um talk to other people be like yeah like i'm so in pain like this and this i mean of course you're in pain if you just sit in there and just don't you know do anything. do anything for it then of course you will feel that pain even more so sitting in that pain like just being in that tunnel standing sitting is just something that truly will never get you out of them will you um explain maybe go back when you go back yeah so when you go back um then you go back and back and then you just um it's happening again and again if you go back so that's why you have to go forward to jesus um yeah as she said so going back is you experience that pain over and over again so the only option is truly moving forward and since jesus truly promised us that no matter what he's there and if you focus on that i know it's not easy because if you're in pain it's truly hard to like bring you up you know but if you focus on the word of god and if you move forward and in the tunnel is no distraction except the pain except the devil trying to hold you down but if you focus on the word of god then in the end of the day there's gonna be jesus you're gonna like walk out of that tunnel and you're gonna see the light and you'll be like yeah i mean it's all worth it you know how can i say it for people who don't who are right now not in a bad situation or are not in pain right now um we can just say so easily yeah like just pray just go to god just do that and this but i guess for a person who is truly in pain who's truly have everyday struggles and this and that and i think it's so easy for us just to say yeah then just pray but for them it's just so hard to get out of it and that's why it's so um like so important to have um, friends in Christ and to have people surrounded you that um, support you that say hey, hey I can help you I can pray with you I can pray for you um, yeah. so that's why it's also very very important of course like just because we're Christians just because people are Christians doesn't mean that we don't have bad days doesn't mean that we don't yeah. feel the pain like we have bad days and that's normal for everybody so of course but I think the difference like is that we have hope the people who don't have anyone like to hold on to they don't have hope like they don't think oh yeah in the end of the tunnel there will be a light because what they light think there is, is no end they think there is no end and and um i don't know like to every situation i i go feeling your emotions is very important like i will um tell you guys like some scriptures that you know we can just talk about the scripture right and the first scripture would be Romans chapter 5 verse 3 we can rejoice to when we run into problems and trials for we know that they help us develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character and character strength our confidence hope of salvation this is like a lot to take in because we need to think about the scripture a lot but jesus is saying you can learn a lot from your suffering you can learn so much when we right now in pain right and then better days are coming and you look back and you'll be like this was actually the most time i've learned so much like in that time i've it learned so much yeah. everything and if i wouldn't go through it then i, I wouldn't, wouldn't be the person i've been so actually especially when you are in pain jesus will show you your grace and you will learn a lot from like your hurt because sometimes when we always feel good we cannot learn that stuff sometimes jesus needs to put us like in a what situation to us to truly learn from it yeah i got the question very often i um myself i i question it a lot too if god really put you to suffering because i don't think so but i think so if we don't see for example um if i have a friend and i truly um want to stay with this friend but god is telling giving me over over situations showing me that this is not good for me um that this person is not yeah. good for me but i will stay 
I think Jesus says, okay, okay, then I have to show it even more. But I don't think that Jesus is saying, okay, I want to let you into suffering that you no. know. Like, no, I because I feel like Jesus gave us a free will and we decided to go that way and it will lead us to suffer. So I feel like what Jesus is doing with our suffer is being like, okay, even though you put yourself in that, I will, I will literally make the best of it, like a tree, you know what we're talking about, like like a tree, you know, you can you can literally go every way that God like literally doesn't want you to go, but in the end of the day, like there's always gonna be a tree, like being like, okay, even though like you you did this and this, that truly brought you to suffer, I would still make the best out of it and be like the curve, you know, so no, Jesus, I feel like Jesus doesn't put you into um suffering but he will give you lessons to learn yeah, lessons, yeah. he will tell you twice or fours that for example your friendship is not good and um if you don't listen to his voice then of course you will end in suffering you will end in pain and also this is what i mean like if you don't listen to jesus suffering will come way way faster and in general like if you separate yourself from God, then he respects your will. And if he does step like a step back, then literally chaos and suffering and just you feeling down will come in. Because Jesus is like light, Jesus is love. And if you have him in your life, hold him very tight and truly try to work on the word of God. And um, yeah. Next thing is 2 Corinthians 4, 16. It is, that is why we never gave up to our bodies are dying our spirits are being renewed every day i will tell it again that's why we never give up to our bodies are dying our spirits are being renewed every day so even though our bodies are dying because of our sin like we are sinning over and over again our spirit is renewed every day when we wake up and it, our spirit will never die because when we got jesus in ourselves our spirit will never die you know and that's why we are so thankful that we find our people and find our church and again it's so important that you have friends in christ it's so important that you have your church whenever you're feeling down you say okay but today or tonight or tomorrow um, i can go to church and can pray again with all my people and have remember if you are now having a hard time well remember jesus remember that there's a light even though it's hard but in the end of the tunnel there's always going to be a light and um you are in this position in this um pain because of a reason there's a reason why you're in this right now maybe also because of your choices that you made in your past just, just look up and not down just look up just know that jesus is within you you cannot fail i guess it's the end of the video um maybe yeah if you want us to really do like this episode and like maybe every monday like we were trying um every sing every different topic you can also put some topics in the comments that we know what we can talk about yeah um and i hope you guys liked it um yeah and yeah we're wishing you a blessed day a blessed day with jesus grace yeah. and we see you in the next video see guys. you in the next video bye bye